So take a look at this. This is the big reveal. Do you know what this gadget is? I mean, is this something that will solve a problem in your life? Is this a must have for you? I mean, that's why we're all here. We're all asking the question, what the heck is that? Welcome to What the Heck Is That? The new gadget game show. And I'm your host, Steve Greenberg. I'm the author of Gadget Nation. I'm also a contributor on NBC's Today Show. Some people say I'm Hoda and Jenna's gadget guy. It could be. And uh, we're all here to try to figure out what this gadget is all about. I don't know. It's got a kind of weird curve to it. And that's why we're going to be asking our panel of experts to tell us what this is. And we're starting off with a guest panelist. We've got Calvin Cato here. Hi, Calvin. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Calvin can be seen on the Oxygen Network, on Netflix. You can also see him buying a bacon and egg cheese sandwich at most uh, delis around town here in New York. We even have a short clip of Calvin explaining what Disney single really means. Single, man. Because like, I'm like deep in my 30s and single, which is like a bad, like I'm Disney single. Like, you know what Disney single is? Like the kind of thing where you start singing to the mice in your apartment, like that level of single. Yeah. Where you see a mouse carry by and you're like, look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Like that level of... <laughs> It's not cute anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin, okay. thank you so much. Okay, so uh, when he's not on stage, he's also a gadget guru like the rest of us here. So Calvin, taking a good look at this. Okay, take a good look. Any questions that you want to ask so we can try to identify this mystery gadget? Does it go on a person? Does it go on a person? Yes, it, it is something that would go on a person. That's a very, and of course you ultimately have to say what it is, but that's that's a great question, Calvin. We, that's really, you, you nailed it. Let's go on to uh, Lois Whitman Hess. Now, Lois is a podcaster. She is the head of HWHPR. She's also a blogger and she's our ray of sunshine. So put on your sunglasses and say hello to Lois Whitman Hess. Lois, thank you so much for, again for joining us. So what's your question about this product? Hmm. Uh, does, that uh, does that gadget have any camera qualities? Absolutely. There is a camera associated with this product. Uh, the blue over here is, of course, there's a name and logo here that I blocked off with blue as always, but yes. So we've gotten it definitely, we're getting really close, really fast with this one. Let's move on to Oliver Tull. Oliver has been in technology so long that he knows Alexa by her maiden name. So, <laughs> I was at the wedding, so yeah. At the wedding. <laughs> and now she's actually talking right there behind us. <laughs> Alexa, Perfect. stop. She's, she's saying, saying, I don't know. She's saying, I don't know him at all, actually. No, she's <laughs> saying he never gave me a wedding present. That's what she's saying. Or I had to return the wedding. On Amazon, it just the, the, the check the bounced. Room. The check bounced. <laughs> I don't know him. I'm telling you, though, Lois and I were at the baby naming ceremony for her. So we, there you we, go. we've known her longer. Okay, so uh, <laughs> taking a look at this, what's your question, Oliver? Are there actually two separate cameras on that? Yes, there are one here and one here. Okay. There are two cameras on this product. Ooh. Ooh. And I'd be like, why? Okay, we go on to Harry Redlick. Now, Harry, I don't know if people know this or not, but Harry studied mime in Paris. He was really good at it, but then he was expelled because talking in class. <laughs> <laughs> So Harry, uh, here's the product again. Take a good look. That intro actually got some laughs, I think. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about this product? That's the intro right. got laughs. Um, okay, God, it has two cameras. It goes on a person. Um, is it? Does it have to do with exercise? Nope, nothing to do with exercise at all. But that's a very good, good guess. Uh, I think that's 
you know, eliminates another category, which is very important. So we've gone through one round of questioning. So let me take a moment to talk to our folks at home there. If you have an idea that you know what this is, put it in the comments below. I check them out. I'll give you some feedback, but please check it out and add your comments right below. Thanks so much. Okay, let's go to round two. And we start off with Calvin Cato. And Calvin, uh, you've, had, you've heard a bunch of interesting answers. What's your next question for this product? Oh boy, I'm still figuring this out because once you said it's not for exercise, I thought it was a very intrusive Kegel exercise tester, but I guess <laughs> not. Yeah, and I think, it, I see some sharp areas. That would be really dangerous. <laughs> oh, trust me, I'll be squinting if I have that on. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so strange. Is it used for like home security? Nope, not for home security, though an excellent guess, but not for home security. Okay, we're gonna move on to uh, Miss Lois Whitman Hess. Lois. Okay, I of course have two obscene <laughs> questions. If you didn't, I'd please, be worried. Please, Lois. Well, we one it just seems like one hooks onto a private part and the other one hooks and they take pictures from different oh, angles. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and, and as something grows, it just videos Oy it. Vey. Oh, no. oh my God. It's like Mrs. Roper. I know. Or, or that is a dental camera. A dental camera. Oh. Nope, it's not a dental camera. And it's not used on genitalia of any kind. <laughs> so we're going to take that, take those off the table. Yeah. Though I do see the potential. Yes. For it. I'm going to tell you that, but I, I'm, it's not not designed for that. I guess it could be used for anything, but not designed for that. It's okay. like a neck massager. Neck it, massagers can be a lot of different things. <laughs> it could be a, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that gosh. massage category. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the gadget world, and that massage category is. You know, way there's more than the instructions ever tell you. Okay, we move on to Oliver Tull. Oliver. <sighs> yeah, I, I'm really being thrown by the shape of this because in my mind, it looks like it was the kind of thing that would fit over an ear or something. So is that worn on the ear? Great question. And no, it's not. It's funny because I the shape is so interesting. It looked like a shrimp to me when I first picked it up. No, it's uh, it's not designed for going over the ear. Excellent question, Oliver. Thank you very much. We now we go on to Harry Redlick Jr. I'm adding a junior to your name. I don't know because I feel you need a, a third beat in there. <laughs> Harry, what's your I'm question? I'm a Jew. I'm a Jew. I, uh, I'm offended that you would call me Junior. Yeah, no, we don't have to. Um, <laughs> and now I want a shrimp cocktail. Um, <laughs> I, is it something you would use inside as well as outside? Yes, you could definitely and would certainly be using this inside and outside, both. Hmm. Okay, so now we've gone through two rounds. So the panelist has to sit and think and write down or at least tell us what their guess of what the heck this is. But in the meantime, while they're doing that, let me say that if you like this show, please hit that like button. Remember, every time you give a like, we give a treat to Gadget the Wonder Dog. <laughs> so please, like us. We need you to like us. So hit that like button. Thanks so much. Come on, they'll, help. they'll like us. Don't worry, they'll like us. <laughs> Gadget out. Okay, so now we are back again to find out what the panelists think this is. So let's start off with Calvin Cato. It's first time out, Calvin, but certainly, you know, sometimes there's beginner's luck in there. What's your guess? What do you think this is? Oh boy, okay, so it can be used inside and outside. Definitely not on the genitals or the ears. Uh, <laughs> or the mouth. Oh boy, is this like some sort of like body cam? like to catch someone cheating? Well, I mean, it is a body cam, but that's too broad. I think you're gonna have to bring it into, it has a very specific use, uh, but it is for, you know, the general public for the most part, uh, but no, and it's definitely not body cam police related. So we can take that off the table too, but excellent guess. Yeah, we'll take that off the table for sure. Okay, <laughs> let's move on to Lois Whitman Hess. I have oh. no idea. 
<laughs> eyeball camera. <laughs> eyeball camera. And that would mean what, Lois? What is an eyeball camera? It means that instead of going to optometrist, you put it on your eye and it oh. tells you if you have astigmatism or if you have, uh, you know, what your prescription is or if you have cataracts or floaters or... Uh, no, that's not the game. Yeah. Are you moonlighting as an optometrist? <laughs> her, her, her optometry skill and knowledge. I mean, she knows every that that whole litany of, of eye problems. She couldn't list You'll things get the refrigerator. There. She couldn't do that for kitchen appliances for anything, but for optometry, <laughs> that seems to be her, her skill set. Her her secret, her it's her secret skill set. I, I absolutely. But no, it's not for that. Okay, so we're moving on to Oliver Tull. Oliver, what's your guess? Well, when she said the cataracts and the floaters, I thought she was just naming doo-wop groups in the 50s. But, <laughs> but I, I thought it was a video back then for shrimp. Uh, oh, wow, wow, wow. Shrimp, I love it. My God. Great, like it for great drawing. Put the video family. Oliver, I'm going to tell you personally, I miss the drawings. It's so good to have you back. Absolutely. Absolutely. Even though you didn't get the right answer, you're getting oh. my, my praise and word. It's so good to see that. Okay. And, and it's not just that Oliver's bald, because that doesn't see, it isn't the rule, everybody. We can have people there. <laughs> I think it is guys. the rule, though. It may be rule. Okay, Harry. What's that your... shrimp with the backpack was so cute. So cute. <laughs> okay. I think it's a pet walking camera. A pet walking kit. Oh. Well, oh. you could use this for walking a pet. I mean, it could definitely use. So that you can watch you watch your pet as it's walking. Okay, this is actually. I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna give the reveal right now. A uh, little drum roll here. Okay, I have to actually build it. This is for if, if you have an Apple Watch. This adds a camera to oh. your Apple Watch. Oh. So the Apple Watch does everything your phone does, everything your phone does, but it doesn't uh, have ca a camera. That's the one thing wow. missing. So this company came up with a way of adding a camera, both a selfie camera and a regular camera, to an Apple Watch. And I, it's pretty cool. i got to show you the box it comes in. It's called a uh, wrist cam. Here's the box it comes in. Is it made by Apple or? No, no, it's made by another company, but Apple approves it. Apple signs off for it. They'll even sell it in an Apple store. Wow. And this is the uh, the box. It's actually the box. Beautiful. Of the box. Like, it's such a beautiful box. Wow. Let me show it. The price is $2.99 and you can get it at shop.riskcam.com. Okay, well, it's, it's out in the market now. So check it out. Once again, you guys were amazing. Calvin, your first time. Great having you on board. Now, adding a camera to your Apple Watch, very smart idea. Now, that's a very high-tech gadget. This one is a very low-tech gadget. But do you know what it is? The only way to find out, go to episode 34, and you'll have the answer there. Now, next episode is going to be about this little gadget right here. What the heck is that? There's only one way to find out. Hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell. And when we post this episode, you'll find out about it. So check it out. What the heck is that? <laughs> what the heck is that? Gadget on the show. What the heck?